Well, hello, boys and girls. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. So, nobody asked, how do you initialize a new hard drive? Is my screen cracked? No, no, the screen is not cracked. It's not. No, it's not. It's just separated. Yeah, it's going through a very bad divorce. Yeah, parts of the screen are separating from each other. It's truly really bad divorce. How do you initialize an uninitialized hard drive? It's actually an SSD. Okay. So when you get to this micro SD utilities screen, you go to disk utility, continue, and then you select the drive that you would like to initialize. So this is the drive that I would like to initialize. This one right here. The 120 gigabyte SSD and to initialize it all I need to do is erase I'm going to be installing macOS Catalina on this drive so I'm going to erase this and uh, format this as, um, an a as APFS Apple file system non-encrypted is fine and then erase that's how it, you initialize the hard drive so it's just formatting and then you change you can actually encrypt it uh, you can actually format this as a uh, apfs encrypted or if it was a regular hard drive not uh, not an ssd you could uh, use mac os extended journal but i'm sure most of you are now using ssd drives so we're going to format this as a uh, apple file system and we're just gonna call this uh what should we call it carolina yeah, I'm gonna be sort of micro is Carolina. So Carolina. So you know what I can do that later. Let me just show you this because I know I don't you don't have time. Let's just call it cat for now. And then erase. So after that it should be initialized. Okay, so mounting IPFS, as simple as that. Okay, so it just takes a, a few seconds. Okay, so now it's uh, it has been erased and it's a uh, APS Apple file system APFS uh, uh, partition. So if you go back here and hit um, reinstall microOS Carolina, continue. agree you should be able to see two drives here okay so this is the current uh, drive inside the computer this is uh, actually a 320 gigabyte hard drive and we're going to be upgrading to a 120 gigabyte SSD and it has been initialized okay and then just hit next and that's it that's all you gotta that's all you have to do really um it's pretty pretty simple just erase and then select uh, the file format and then your drive is initialized well thank you for watching as always if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel please like and share i hope this has been beneficial to you enjoy ta-ta Thank you.